So Mitch, welcome to Notts County. Uh, how pleased are you to be here? Yeah, I'm delighted. Um, it's a club of this stature and magnitude, it's a great opportunity for me and hopefully we can turn our season around and secure safety. You mentioned the stature. What do you know about the club and the history? Yeah, obviously playing against the club um, for quite a few seasons now. Um, there's always been um, a good fan base that's followed the club and when we've played here, um, obviously it's the oldest football club um, and it's just huge, the, the players that they've got um, and the potential that this club's got going forward is, is unbelievable so hopefully we can just turn our season around and then get ourselves moving forward next year. So just talk us through how this news manifested itself, it's been quite a busy day for you hasn't it? Oh yeah, very. Um, just brief conversation um, early on in the window but nothing that was sort of concrete and I thought it got put to bed to be honest and then uh, my agent called me and said that there was a little bit more strength in it and a little bit more in it that can make it um, come to fruition so it was just a case of just getting a few things ironed out and, and just obviously getting it pushed over the line. We've heard from Jim O'Brien previously how Neil Ardley sort of spoke to him personally to try and convince him to join the club. Had that been a similar thing with you? Yeah, yeah I spoke to the manager um, last night. We had a good conversation last night on the phone and um, I spoke to previous players who have worked under him and I asked them uh, what they thought of him and, and, and the assistant Coxie and everyone spoke highly of them both and, and I think that's what um, sold it for me of how highly everybody spoke about the manager and, and the assistant. It wasn't a case of looking at the league position, I know you can't ignore that, but everyone spoke of how highly the manager is and ex-players and people that have managed him have, have told me that if there's anyone to get him out of the trouble that they're in, it's the manager that you've got now. So there was no real concern for you looking at the league position? No, of course always there's, there's that concern because there's a lot of things you have to consider, but there's no getting away from the fact that it is the situation, you can't ignore that. Um, and and if it's a different club, maybe you reconsider, but a club of this size, you can't turn down an opportunity like that. You've got 17,000 fans that came, that came against Cambridge. Like Teams in League One don't get that. So it's a huge structure at the football club with respect to the position and they've got the quality of players to be able to turn that around. That's what I was about to say. So you've seen enough from the squad and got enough belief in the squad as well? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, I've played against uh, the team twice this season. And the first time we played against them, we spoke ourselves at Grimsby and we said that this is a group that will go forward and succeed this season. It just hasn't worked out in the way that maybe everyone thought that it, it, it could have. Um, but playing against the boys um, here for the last couple of seasons, um, the strength and depth we've got in the, in the squad is, is excellent to be competing at the top end of the league and, and comfortably in League One. It's just obviously unfortunate that the situation is as it is. You've played here a few times, like you say, on a, as part of the opposition. What's it going to be like for you here with a big crowd screaming your name, wanting you to say? Yeah, obviously it'll be, it'll be great for me um, to play in front of a a big crowd at Noss County. It'll be great for me to, to get that experience. I've always loved playing here because the pitch has always been really good. It's always been rocking in the atmosphere. So for me, it's it's a great opportunity for me um, going forward. What can the fans expect from you as a player? Um, I just, I think, especially in the position we're in, I, I never shy away from a challenge. I think I'm better under pressure. I'm better when there's a challenge there. Um, and I just want to give my best for the team, where, um, whether that's in my favourite position, out of position, I will always give my best. Um, and that's just what they'll, they can expect from me. I will always give my best for the team and hopefully I can chip in with goals, assists, and just keep working hard for the team and keep creating things for the team. You're looking forward to getting involved with the boys and meeting a few more of the lads? Yeah, definitely. I just want to get get settled down now, get 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 my head focused and, and uh, get ready for the challenge ahead. And a big game coming up on Saturday against Lincoln. That's the side you've played recently at Grimsby as well, isn't it? So yeah, yeah, to yeah. Them again. yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, you want to play against the best teams, and I was saying to a few of my friends, I think it's better for us to play against the best teams. I always find that when you're in a situation as you are like this, you always find that you're better against the better teams because you know you have to dig it out, and, and it, it causes you to raise your game because you're playing against better players. So I think it's a great opportunity for us on Saturday, and hopefully we can come up with three points. And hopefully we see you make your debut as well. On yeah, hopefully so. Hopefully so.